my name is Carrie Kolke Bonk. Typically around town, people know me as Carrie Bonk, but Kolke Bonk, for my artwork, there are two Carrie Bonks in Appleton. And my mom was also a very good artist, so I like to include Kolke in honor of her. When I first started to be interested in art, um, I think it was from my mom. She would always have an art project going, so I, I really credit her for giving me the ability to just work with different things and really enjoy the art because I was a, probably around it from three years old on. Lately I've been into the encaustic, which is a wax painting. And the encaustic is fun because it's different and you can really manipulate that. You can do collage, you can add or subtract and, or even start over, peel the wax off. And that has been my favorite for the last two years. Um, before that it was watercolor and it just, the spontaneity of the watercolor is what I like. You don't know what you're gonna get and you can't control it like you can with oils or acrylics. There's certain places you can go into when they're wet and then there's certain places you should stay out of when they're wet because either you put too much pigment in and then it'll dry differently or else that area will blossom into the wet part and then you end up with this area that it's not what you expected or not what you want and it's not something you can go back and change. Once it dries, it's very hard to correct a mistake in watercolor. You start getting it muddied up or else you lose the transparency of the watercolor. So that's, that's the hard part about watercolor but it's also you can get some fun stuff happen that you don't expect or you can't even duplicate. Encaustics are challenging because that there's a certain point where you, you put the wax on and then you have to fuse it with the heat gun and then if you actually are heating it too much you'll lose a lot of what you put on there it'll just start to float and then you lose the definitive structure of what you're trying to you know if you're doing a straight line it's no longer a straight line so that's that's the challenge of encaustic you don't always get what you're expecting with that either and again that can be a good thing you know you get some surprises that way we moved to Appleton, Minnesota when I was second grade. My dad was the high school superintendent, so we moved here and then I ended up getting married to a man from Appleton, so I have not left here and just and our you know raised the kids here and was able to just stay. Um, we live on the farm here and it's worked out really well for for my artwork and you know for a job and Paul's job so I enjoy working at the post office in Appleton um, let's see 20 it'll be 20 years that I've been there uh, I really enjoy working with the people the community I pretty much know everybody in town and it's just a it's a fun place we got a good group there so it's a lot of fun to go to work I think around this area and in this region, it's a really a nice area for uh, people that are outdoors with you know all the hunting and the fishing and the lakes and stuff. Um, and then every fall we have the meander, the first weekend in October, and that brings a lot of people. And I've been in that all every year that they've had it, except one, my daughter got married last year. But I notice the people that come, they always say, oh, it's just beautiful out here. And I, you know, I just really enjoy coming because even though it's a drive where you drive around to all the studios, they, they said it's just so enjoyable because it's really a nice, typically the weather's nice and it's fall. And so it's just a nice scenery for people. And I really think that's a, a really a plus that we have in this area with the, the river in town and just all the, croplands and that and so much open space. My artwork has um, really, in the last few, probably last five years, I've really, you know, done a lot of work with the community and I think that's important to get art into the community. We just finished up a mural project on the Otter Tail Building and we're working on the bathhouse in Appleton, doing some murals on the doors of the locker rooms. And so a lot of times I'll get in on projects that are 
maybe not, they might not start out as art projects, like rehabilitation of some kind, renovations, and then art gets brought into it, so then I get to help in on that. We got kind of a character of them, the bathing caps, and, and then we wanted it to look like that was dark behind them, and then they were just in the silhouette standing in the doorway. So these will actually fit the whole doorway. We're going to try and get some old photos for the front windows, murals of the bathhouse when kids were swimming or of the bathhouse when it was being used. The water used to come right up to the platform. It's good to have art in the, in the town and just for people to see. It's really nice. When I work on art, um, it's a way to be creative. You know, sometimes you just can't help it. You're either a creative person or you're not. And I am a creative person, so my artwork, I'm able to show that creativity, and it's a good way to, it's actually therapeutic. I mean, you see that in a lot of um, reports that art is good, you know, for a person, keeps the mind going, and so it's just really an outlet for people, and for me it's just really satisfying, I guess. It's really a nice way to be able to relax. I don't, I don't struggle with my art, it's just really enjoyable, and I'm glad that I'm able to do it. Visit pioneer.org slash postcards to catch up on missed episodes and to find out more about your favorite segments. This program on Pioneer Public Television is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the Vote of the People of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008. Additional support provided by Mark and Margaret Yakel Juline, in honor of Shalom Hill Farm, a nonprofit rural education retreat center in a beautiful prairie setting near Wyndham in southwestern Minnesota. ShalomHillFarm.org. The Arrowwood Resort and Conference Center, your ideal choice for Minnesota resorts, offering luxury townhomes, 18 holes of golf, Darling Reflection Spa, Big Splash Water Park, and much more. Alexandria, Minnesota. Explore hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for a great vacation or a place to hold an event. ExploreAlex.com Tri-State Brain and Spine Institute With locations in Alexandria, Edina, Crookston, and Maple Grove. Doctors dedicated to evaluating and treating all types of brain and spine problems, no matter how complex.